Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and I'm here with your weekly advice readings for the week beginning March 18th, 2019. Thank you for joining me. This is going to be for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising signs. You can also watch this if you're dealing with the Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. Keep an open mind, these are general readings. They're not going to fight everyone. And make sure to watch all your signs. I'm using the Deviant Moon Tarot deck. For the longest time, I didn't really like this deck, and then all of a sudden I was very drawn to it. So I bought it, and I'm really glad I did. I'm happy with the readings that I'm doing with it. So let's see what's going on for you, Taurus. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Swords in the center, Seven of Swords, Queen of Cups, The Moon. And the chariot and at the bottom of the deck you have the Sun and the Sun was also um, tried to flip over when I was shuffling the card so I was curious to see if I see it again in your reading so the Sun at the bottom of the deck now this is about um, revelation illumination something's coming to light it is definitely a very positive card um, talks about some sort of victory some sort of win some sort of coming out on top getting what you want or getting what you deserve with this energy of the sun card it's celebration absolutely um, it could just be time off for some of you it could be celebration and happiness around children or a sense of victory with whatever it is that you're focused on really whether it's your love life your work life your health um, this is your health getting better um, as well and you're in the spotlight so basically you can get what you whatever you want during this time so spend some time figuring out what you want and then just go for it is is the message here because you will be successful so that's also basically the message here with the queen of pentacles the knight of swords and the chariot so queen of pentacles is you taurus virgo capricorn energy the knight of swords is go get it don't take no for an answer and it ends in the chariot as your last card so that's your victory card that's you getting what you want this is breakthrough this is progress this is things picking up speed maybe after a time of waiting you have the seven of pentacles here you have the seven of swords here the wait time may have been caused by some confusion whether this was intentional or so some sort of manipulation or omission or just confusion uh, miscommunication not having all the information you need not getting the full picture um, so there, there's been delays there's been a wait time there's been going back and forth with something and then I feel that with the Sun card this is revelation this is getting information that you were missing or going out and getting it for yourself if it's a matter of you've been waiting for something and it's not been happening this is you know what i'm just going to try a different approach i'm going to go straight to the source okay i'm going to cut out by by standard not cut out by stands i'm going to cut out what am i trying to say intermediaries middle middle people and i'm just going to go straight to the source i'm going to talk to him directly because there is something there where again there's miscommunication or confusion or some sort of manipulation with the moon card and the seven of swords some sort of secrets um and that has caused delay that ca that has caused indecision okay and that has caused things to move very very slowly you have a water sign here that's very significant so a cancer scorpio or pisces now this person could have been the cause of the delay they could have been manipulating omitting information giving you half truths uh, or they may be may have been the middle person they were very confused themselves and so they didn't have information to tell you if that makes sense okay I 
I feel that for those of you looking for a job, especially if you've already gone on interviews or you're going on interviews during this time, um, the message there is um, follow up. Okay, give them a give them a day, give them two days. Just depends what they tell you it's going to take. But basically, give them whatever they tell you it's going to take. If you don't hear from them, call them back, send them an email. You know, don't be a pest, but don't just sit around waiting because I feel like there's miscommunication. Things don't get to you either because of technical issues or because someone's dropping the ball, something gets lost in translation. So it's just best to follow up and it's best to stay on top of it and go directly to the source, whatever that means for you. Um, and you find out that actually you're victorious because you have the sun and the chariot in your reading here. For others of you, I feel that this can be about travel or even moving during this time. It can be that you're taking time off and this is the time of holiday and you're traveling. It could just be that. Maybe you're going with friends um, or even family. For others, I feel like this is moving and you've been waiting for that answer from the bank regarding your mortgage. And maybe your broker has not been doing their job and you change brokers, and as soon as you do that, it goes through, okay? Because you're, you're going from one thing to the other, one thing to another, okay? And the Seven of Swords is strategizing because you, things are not working out the way you wanted them to, things are not working out according to the schedule you thought they're going to, going to. Um, and so something needs adjusting, something needs changing here, something needs to be cut out. But I do feel that for the most part, if this is in a work situation or even with your social circles, I feel like there's a there's a troublemaker there. There's someone who likes to play people like puppets, okay? Maybe a water sign because this is also a sign of Cancer and Pisces. Um, so Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then they may be, you know, power driven. They like to have control. And they're they're putting up blocks for you. But if that's the case with the Sun card, this is about being exposed, okay? And you being able to move past this to cut through it. There's also a situation like if it's a, it's about a, a, a love interest and you're asking a friend to talk to that person or there's mutual, it's a mutual acquaintance and you're trying to make your way to them and someone's offering to talk you up or something along those lines, okay? That's that's not going to go very well. They're not going to do what they, they tell you they're going to do. They might like that person themselves or or they just don't want to see you with them. Whatever the reason, I don't know. So if that is something that might be going on for some of you, then it's best to speak directly to the source, okay? Don't, don't rely on middle men and middle women during this time because it's going to get messed up. Whether that's intentional, so someone's being manipulative, or it's just, hey, Mercury retrograde, communication not going well, okay? So just keep that in mind. Um, but I do feel that the bottom line is something is revealed. There's a time of exposure. Um, it might be, again, that someone who's been manipulating and intentionally causing trouble, they get caught out, um, put cut aside, okay? And then that's how things pick up speed. That's how you have your victory. Or things get ex exposed in the sense of, oh, I never really sent that email. I'm sorry. Or, um, oh, yeah, I meant to call you, but my, my phone hasn't been working. And then I forgot or something along those lines. But again, that will be by speaking directly to the source and chasing it up yourself. Okay, so if you're dealing with any sort of delay, especially if you're dealing with middle, middle men, middle women, um, just look into it. If something's not going according to plan, stay on top of it. Chase them up. Call them. Send them an email. Can't hurt. Um, you might bypass this whole situation altogether, not have to deal with the back and forth and the miscommunication if you do that, if you speak directly to the source. And of course, where that is possible, if you have to go through someone to get to something else, then that's what you have to do. But just make sure you stay on top of it and you double check things with them. Make sure they have their facts straight, okay?
you may have to choose between two different people or two different job opportunities or two different ways of making money during this time. Uh, you may have to choose between two, maybe two different properties of where you invest or who you invest in, okay? And I feel like if that's the case, just double check, make sure you have your facts straight because I feel like one situation, at least one situation is not what it appears to be. However, that applies if it's a property, it might have some issues that they're not telling you about. Um, if it's between two people, then one of them might be, you know, selling themselves as something, but actually this, they're being deceptive. Or they might be telling you stuff about the other person, but that's not true. So there's something going on there where there's miscommunication. Um, there's delays and uncertainties. In some cases, it's willful. Someone's being manipulative. And in other cases, it's just micro retrograde technical issues. People are on holiday and that's why there's delays and, and so on and so forth. But the message here is speak direct, directly to the source. Go directly to the source. Um, get that clarity. Get the information yourself or make sure that the information that you do have is correct. Because ultimately, you do have victory. So whether this is about getting a house, moving, getting a job, uh, starting a relationship, choosing between two different options, regardless of what it is, you do have victory there. So you do have success. But there's just some murkiness that you have to go through, okay? Let's see. You might have to choose between an earth sign and a water sign for some of you, uh, or an air sign and a water sign, or air sign and earth sign. Air signs are Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Earth signs are Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Regardless of the signs of the people that you're dealing with, the bottom line is one of them is all talk, and the other actually does what they say. However, that applies. One of them is smoke and mirrors, and the other one is actually realistic concrete and you can see that they do what they say so just pay attention to that okay pay attention to those little uh details and you'll know which is which you'll know what option is the right option okay because you will be able to see through the smoke and mirrors if you know to look for it and let's pull you one additional advice card additional advice for taurus that we go. So we have reass <laughs> we have reassessed from a different perspective. So yeah, just double check, make sure everything is what it is. Make sure everything is what you're seeing or what you're being told it is. Uh, get a second set of eyes on it. Get someone to double check. Um, seek a second opinion. Okay, it's definitely all about double checking for you. Coming at things from a different perspective means, okay, so I was told this is the process, but it's not working, what else can I do? How else can this be done? How else can I go about this? Okay, so it's looking for other options, looking for other possibilities to get you to where you wanna get to. And that's how you have your victory. Okay, so it's a very interesting reading here for you, Taurus. Do let me know how these messages make sense to you, if you feel they apply to you, what are you dealing with here? Um, remember to watch your sun, your moon, and your rising. Have a great week. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.